Hi, I'm Stuart from Hike Micro. Today we're going to take a look at thermal monoculars and what your money buys you at the different price points. It's worth mentioning we're looking at our range of Hike Micro Thermal today. Obviously there are other brands available. And because we're making this video in association with the NGO, if you buy a Hike Micro, we will give you a free USB power bank. So the great thing as you compare thermal models is it's really easy to see where your money goes at every price point. So the entry level, the easiest thing to notice, lens size, it's got a smaller screen and there's a much smaller resolution sensor in here. As you move up to our top model, bigger lens, longer detection, higher resolution sensor giving you more detail in the image and you've also got a larger viewfinder. So it's kind of like buying a television or any real, any kind of technology. Every time you spend a pound, you can see that extra performance jump out at you. So these three models in front of me here might all look the same. There's actually a really big difference in their performance. And it's the same with these two premium models on this side. Different sensors, different lenses, massive difference in performance. So we're going to start by looking at the entry level model. This is our Lynx LC6. This uses a six millimeter front lens. It also uses a 160 by 120 sensor, which is lower resolution. The smaller lens gives you a shorter detection period, but it's an entry point at £450 into the thermal world. So this is great for air gunners, probably not going to be so suitable if you're shooting anything beyond 50 yards. So as a starting point, we also sell loads of these for people who just want to see if there's something out in the garden and, uh, you know, as a starting point in nature and observation of that stuff. So, you know, it's bringing thermal to a new market, but if you want to go foxing with it, this isn't the one for you. Moving up a size, this is still in the Lynx series, but this is the L15. So there's a couple differences between this and the 6mm. Number one, you've got a 15mm lens on the front, so that's giving you a longer detection distance. It's also giving you slightly more mag. This one works on one times magnification, and it's got a 384 by 288 sensor inside. So that's giving you a much higher resolution image. The screen at the back is the same as the entry level model, but you're seeing a lot more detail with that higher resolution sensor. This is actually one of our most flexible and best selling models because it's got that wide field of view and it's also got a great price point at £900. So this next model really illustrates how thermal technology is becoming more affordable. So this uses a 90mm front lens. It's got focus, so this is the first model in our range that offers focus. It's got 1.8 times magnification and it uses a 384 by 288 12 micron sensor. So that's actually giving you 1.8 times magnification. At the back, you've got a larger screen and viewfinder. So this really pulls all of the features and benefits from the premium models into a much more affordable price point. And it's also really compact. So it's easy to tuck into a pocket or carry with you. It's not very heavy, easy to use, and it's just a, a very flexible dual unit. So that's an overview of Hike Micro's Link series, which takes you from entry level through to our mid-range price points. All these units have the same software. So every single one has got Wi-Fi, so you can sync to your phone, you can stream the image, you can control the device, record through it. They've all got built-in memory, so you can take pictures on them and videos if you want to. And that's useful if you're using it in a security application, you want to gather some evidence. As professional gamekeepers, I would recommend that you are looking at this unit and above. It's going to give you the magnification and the, the sensor resolution and performance that's going to allow you to identify small heat sources over longer distances. You're not going to be wasting time and you're going to make sure that you're, you're certain about what you're looking at before you start you know, shooting or if you're going to be um, moving in to get a closer look. We're also selling a lot of these to rural crimes and police forces who want to use the recording capability to um, gather evidence, you know, to identify people and actually this is going to help to give you that clear image of someone who might be snooping around who shouldn't be there. So the next step up in our range is the OWL series. These might look the same on the outside but they actually use different sensors inside and that has quite an impact on their performance. So the base model in the 35mm is this, the OH35. You've got the focus ring on the front, you've got that larger lens which increases your detection distance and your identification distance. This unit also has a lot more magnification built in, so the image that you see, you've got a lot more base zoom before you start. You still have your digital zoom on top of that of course, but that's going to allow you to get a really detailed image of 
smaller heat sources like foxes over a longer distance, you're going to be able to pull up the detail, identify, and then decide, you know, is this something I need to go and take a closer look at. The 384 by 288 resolution sensor in this model compares to the 640 by 512 resolution sensor in the OQ model. So this is basically our flagship monocular. It's got the highest resolution sensor that we offer currently. This 640 sensor gives you a lot more detail in the image and you combine that with the low net D value which is able to detect very small differences in temperature and this unit's capable of building an image that's similar to night vision. So it detects like blades of grass where you can see the detail in the trees behind you. So that's useful if you want to get a clearer overall scene that your intended target is sat in, you can kind of get a feel for the distance, maybe over the performance of some of the lower resolution sensors. So in summary, these two models really are the professional models. The lower resolution sensor actually has the higher magnification. The 640 sensor in the Pro model gives you more detail and it gives you more of a, a kind of wide field of view that's going to give you a better feeling for the situation that your heat source is in. So if out and out distance and detection, you want the OH35 and the OQ35 gives you the ultimate in image quality. At this point, it's probably worth talking about how people use thermal either in place of or alongside night vision. So we actually see a lot higher sales for the monoculars. People like to be able to go out, quickly scan around a large space and it, the thermal makes anything invisible. So if there's a fox right at the back of the field, you're going to see it. This allows you to cover massive areas of ground quickly and you know 100% if there's something alive in there, you're going to find it. When you compare that to night vision, you get a more detailed image from night vision, but it's also like a CCTV camera. So you don't get the animals jump out at you and they're not as obvious. So if you scan the same field with a thermal monocular, you will see any heat sources jump out. It'll be a hot spot in white or black, depending on your your colour profile that you're using at the time, it will be really obvious that there's something there that you need to go and investigate. And we find many people choose to spot with a thermal because you're not waving a weapon around and if you come across something and it turns out to be a person who's rambling in the wrong place in the middle of the night, you're not waving a gun at them. So people spot with a monocular and then they may choose to then shoot with night vision which gives you a, a shorter range but you know where the thing is, you're just going to drive over to it and then you can identify it with your high quality image in the night vision as you shoot it. The other thing to remember with thermal is it's not just for use at night. So they work better at night where there's a bigger temperature difference between things that are alive and the ground or the trees. In the day, the sun's out, it's going to heat those objects and the surroundings up to a temperature which is closer to the animal that you're trying to find. Your thermal sensor works by measuring the temperature difference between two objects. So if you've got a fox and a tree, and the tree is the same temperature as the fox, it won't see it. So at night you find a, a greater temperature difference and a clearer detection from a thermal, but there's loads of people who are using thermal now to detect during the day, and they want to use it when they're deer stalking, you can use it for pest control. It just makes anything that's alive in a large empty space immediately jump out at you. So in my opinion, the best way to buy a thermal is actually not in a shop, which might not be very popular with our shopkeepers, but the best, way to, the best way to understand the performance in each unit is to watch as much footage as you can online, and then once you've got an idea of which is going to suit your budget and your performance expectations, you want to get down to the shop and actually try and compare them back to back, because you know there are subtle differences between models, between different manufacturers, that all the software works differently, and the buttons are positioned differently, and you might find that one unit has a feature that you really want. But really, to understand the performance, you need to see them in action. Um, Hike actually are running a demo program, which will be available through our network of dealers, so you can actually borrow the units, go and use them for an extended test drive, and you know, use it on the land that you're shooting on, really understand its performance, give you the best insight into which unit's best for you. So that was our overview of thermal monoculars that we've produced for the NGO. There's a couple more videos in this series that will give you a more detailed understanding of how the thermals work. And I think we're making another one on rifle scopes. So I hope it's been useful and thanks a lot for watching.